All right, guys, so I want to know two things. One, I want to know how hard it is to break into a safe. But two, I want to know, do safes get harder to break into the more expensive they get? Because you'd think that they would, but I don't know for sure if that's the case. So we're going to test it. I think I said I have five safes. If I didn't, I have five safes. We're starting off with this one. This one is just like a, I don't even know what kind of safe you would call this. Just, I mean, it's just a very small, it's got like a, a, uh, a code and it's got this little lever that you spin to open it up and you can put I don't really know what you would fit in here there's really not much room and it just has a very very thin little little lock up here the metal down here that this latches to so I wouldn't imagine that this is going to be very hard to break into the plan for these for all five safes what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in each one I'm going to put some secret stuff and then after I put the secret stuff in there, what I will do is I'm gonna start a timer and then I have a, a wide variety of hand tools and I'm gonna to try to break into each one just using hand tools and then if for some reason I can't get one open or I guess more than likely when I can't get one open with just hand tools, then I'll switch and I'll start using power tools and then see how long it takes me to get in from there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So we have our secret stuff put in here. All right. We'll mix up the code. We can't get in. I want, first, I want to take some pliers and just see what happens if I just try to like force this thing around, see if it'll just like shear itself off. Let's see if we can just, just twist this thing open. <laughs> really? Really? That was, that was pathetic. All you gotta do is just take pliers and just twist the knob. Now it's locked again. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even start a timer. I mean, that was probably, what, three seconds? I wanted to smash this thing. I'm gonna hit it on top like I wanted to and just see how, see how durable it is. All right, let's say, let's say that somebody wasn't smart enough to get pliers and just twist this thing open because this thing apparently has absolutely no security and you can just twist it open. That almost, with those pliers, whenever I twisted this thing open, it was almost easy enough that if someone was just really strong, I think they could just, just twist it open. I just happened to use pliers. But if you were like really, really strong, you could probably just twist it right open. So let's use, let's use the war hammer. Let's see if we can just hit it right there on that latch and just bust it open. Did something. Come on. Is that it? Aha, our secret stuff, we got our secret stuff out. I and mean, that still probably only took what, like maybe a minute and a half or so. Not a very secure safe. Before we go on, I need to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet has pretty much revolutionized the wallet. I'm sure most of you are used to carrying big bulky leather wallets. That's where Ridge Wallet comes in. These wallets are the size of a credit card. They also carry 12 credit cards. They also have a cash clip on the back to carry your cash. These wallets come in over 30 different styles. They have over 30,000 five-star reviews. They also have a lifetime warranty. So if you, you can buy this one wallet and carry it for life. Also, if you're thinking about buying one of these wallets but you're not sure if you'll like it, you can buy one and you can test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't like it, you can get a full refund. So if you're interested in one of these wallets, you can click the link in the top of my description and then use code TylerTube and you'll get 10% off. All right, so this is safe number two. This one comes in at $57, so a little bit more than double the price of the last safe. And I think it's gonna be more than twice as hard to get into because this is a, you can see this safe isn't really very big. It's meant to be like mounted onto a wall. And then once it's mounted onto the wall, you're supposed to open it this way and get into it. But this one has, 
has these two big bars on the side that lock in to the side right here, which is pretty thick. Granted, the, this door, this metal right here is not very thick. And on the inside, there's only two little tiny uh, spot welds that keep the door attached to the hinges. So, theoretically, if I can get these two welds to break, I should be able to just break these welds and then get the door open. At least that's going to be my plan. But this safe looks like they've done looks like they've done a pretty good job of like making of obviously making it difficult to break into, but the, where the the door is recessed kind of in here, so it's going to be hard to like get pry bars or like anything in there. I think this one's really going to be a challenge. So let's take our secret stuff. Put our secret stuff in there. All right, our door is locked. I'm gonna go for the, the Warhammer first. I'm, like I said, I'm just gonna try to take out these hinges. See what we can do there. Three, two, all right, here we go. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be really challenging. That almost didn't do anything to that. Maybe not. I have this pry bar. We'll try this one. I got the paper out in three minutes and 18 seconds. But I'm gonna keep going until I get this door out. Three minutes and 36 seconds. But just as I figured, these pins that are on the back seem to be the weak link. They just kind of gave away. And then once the door fell down inside, I was able to get into it pretty easy. That's actually a lot easier than I thought. I thought that was gonna give me way more trouble than what it did. The safe was, like I said, just a little bit more than double the price of the last one. And it probably took about double the time to get into it, roughly. The more expensive the safe, the harder it is to get into. But still, that was, that was virtually nothing. So far, I really like this. I've been, I've been uh, destroying things for my entire life. So this is like right up my alley. This is tons of fun. So let's move on to the next one. All right, this is our third. This one is basically just like a bigger version of the last one, kind of. Especially whenever you look on the inside, whenever you open it up, it has the same, same bars that the last one had. It has the exact same, not the exact same hinges, but it has the same uh, style of hinges. Just two little, two little spot welds holding them on. Metal doesn't look very thick. Especially this outside, this is all just real thin. Let's put our secret message in here. If you'd have asked me before I did those last two, I would think that this one was going to give me a lot of trouble. But I thought that last one was going to give me trouble, and it was actually extremely easy. I'm thinking probably like three minutes just like the last one, if not a little bit faster. I'm going to go for the same, same strategy as last time. I'm just going to take out those hinges, and then I, I think this thing will pop open in no time. So let's start the timer. Three, two, one. All right. Hmm. You do it this way. Three minutes and 18 seconds. 
I think that was the exact <clears throat> that was the exact same time it took to get the last note out. Three minutes, eighteen seconds. Huh. <laughs> so you can see the, hin the hinges are just destroyed. <laughs> The hinges just break off and then the door just falls down inside. Breaking into safes is, is pretty easy. I would have never thought that it would have been this easy to break into a safe. Also, I don't remember if I said this or not, but this safe is $91, so just a little bit shy of double the price of the last one, but literally identical results. All right, this is safe number four. Do you recognize the design of this safe? I can tell you right now, this one is gonna be absolutely no problem. This one, is basically set up the exact same way as the last one, except for it's bigger. I think this is gonna be even easier to get into because the, the lock is the exact same lock. The bars are the same size, which these bars are completely useless whenever this thing is getting just beat to death with a sledgehammer. The hinges, literally the exact same hinge as the last one, along with the hinge being the same size. The door is bigger through here, so all through here, I have a lot more surface area of this thin metal that I can just beat something into and bend it away and then chip away at the hinges or do whatever I have to do. The strategy for this one's gonna be the same as all the other ones, just blunt force and just beat the hinges off of it. And then I'll probably, I'm gonna say I'll probably be in this thing, I don't know, probably under three minutes. This will probably be the fastest one I get into. We're gonna put our secret note and we'll, we'll put it on the bottom. Lock it. I don't even think that I'm gonna need anything with this hammer. I think with this hammer, I'm just gonna be able to beat these hinges out. Let's see if we can get in it in under two minutes. Three, two, one. seconds. <laughs> that is awful. Did I say how much this thing, how much this thing cost? I don't know where my sticky note went, but this one, I'm 99% sure this one was $115. For $115, you can have a safe that you can literally just take a hammer and break into in 40 seconds. It literally wouldn't even be worth putting anything valuable in this safe because it's not, it's not even secure. So let's move on to the last one. All right, this is our fifth and final safe. This one comes in at $185, and this one is heavy. All those, those, all those other ones were relatively light. This one, it's not much bigger than that last one we did. It's gotta be at least 100 pounds. I mean, it's heavy, probably because it's a fire safe. In theory, that should mean that it's heavier duty, but whenever you're a professional safe cracker like me, the and you take a look at this, this thing has two major disadvantages, especially to keep me out, it has major disadvantages. The first one being the hinge for the door is on the outside. That's a huge advantage for me. I can, all the other hinges are on the inside, so I have to beat the doors out to get the, to get the doors off. This one, the hinge is right there exposed, so I can just, I can just take it right off. Secondly, the door is attached to the hinge, and then the only thing attaching the hinge to the body of the safe is just two little pieces of metal about this big that have two little tiny spot welds on each one. So four little spot welds are the only thing holding this door on. Now, granted, you can see how thick this door is for, for fire protection, but it also has those four bars on the front. But just like all the other safes, those bars aren't gonna do any good if the hinge is gone and I can just lift the whole door out. For $185, I'm assuming this is going to be extremely easy to break into, and it's probably going to be kind of disappointing that you don't get any more security than this for $185, but we'll see. Maybe I won't be able to get into it, but my guess right here and right now is that it's probably going to take me less than just a few minutes to get into this thing, just like all the other ones. Let's put our secret message in here. Lock this thing up so I can attack this hand right here. This is gonna be, I'm telling you, I think this is gonna be really disappointing. Three, two, one.
power into the, into the insulation. this way. There's a lot of insulation in here. Let me get a bigger pry bar. Alright, now I've got an actual real pry bar. I talked all that smack about this safe, saying I was going to get into it, and no problem, wasn't going to give me no issues, and now here we are. I think I missed something. I had to have. It's literally just barely hanging on. Actually, it's not hanging on by anything. Literally, the door is disconnected. But, if it's locked... I'm going to think about this for a few minutes, and I'll come back. Alright, I've decided to relocate the safe to the floor. I feel like I just have more leverage, and I might be able to get more done. I'm still not entirely sure why the door is completely disconnected like I showed, but I can't, like, get it out. I'm going to go back to the, the brute force method and hit it a couple times with a 10-pound sledgehammer. Maybe I can soften it up and get that door out. So far, we are at 16 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm going to start the timer, and we'll keep going. All right. Eee, I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's working. Right, there's our note. 1820. Whew. That was a lot harder to get into. So 18 minutes, 20 seconds. I think I probably would have got into it a lot faster if I would have just started with the sledgehammer right away instead of just spending so much time with the with the smaller hammer trying to like get the pry bar in there and like pry it up. That's still not super impressive for an $185 safe that's this size. That's under 20 minutes to break into a safe. So that's not a lot of time. All right, so after I got that door off of the Sentry safe, I uh, flipped the door over and I found this. This is the, the four bars that you see on the door that when you shut the door, these things slide over and lock the door. I noticed that they're really, really light. They weigh like almost nothing. So these are made out of aluminum. As you can see, obviously I cut one off because it, this whole thing is so light that I thought for sure that these were gonna be hollow. And if these were hollow, I was going to be extremely disappointed. I'm already pretty disappointed that it's made out of aluminum because we all know aluminum is soft and aluminum bends extremely easy. Now, granted, these didn't bend because I wasn't hitting on, on this side with the sledgehammer. But had I been hitting on this edge, this edge with the sledgehammer, I guarantee this thing would have been bent. Not only is that safe relatively easy to get into, I mean, under 20 minutes you can be into it. It's also not constructed very well. It should have more than aluminum. I feel like this should be steel. So what did we learn from this whole thing? We, at least I learned that the old saying is true, safes only keep the honest people out. Because every single one of these safes, no matter what the price point was, I was able to get into it relatively quickly with nothing more than all of them. The first four I was able to get into with just a hammer and a pry bar. 
or a, and a small pry bar. And the last one, I used a sledgehammer. So nothing fancy. Every single one of these pretty much just brute force bypasses whatever kind of lock they have and allows you to just pry it right open. None of these were that secure. I'm honestly kind of disappointed in them because I just expected them to be, you know, to be harder to break into and be more secure and not be able to just, not just like, especially the first four of them, not just be able to just hit them three or four times with a hammer and then boom, you're in. That's kind of disappointing. I figured they would be way tougher than that. I guess most safes just aren't really that tough. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.